Okay, here we go. The classroom app, what it's good for and what it's not. I'm going to pull it up here by clicking. It opens. You want to choose the class that you're teaching currently. And it will then show you all the iPads in that class. If you want to see their screens, you click screens and it should show you what's on all of their screens. And in this particular class, they're supposed to be doing code.org so I can get a pretty quick video to show me, hey, they're watching, they're all on code.org. What you cannot do is get their names associated with these numbers, which becomes a problem because you want to see their names quickly rather than have to find out what they're doing. What you can, however, do is if somebody's doing the wrong thing, you can choose that one by double clicking on it. I just try to double click on the computer and you can then block. When you have had a discussion with that student and you want to give them back their iPad, you can then click done. Sorry, you do not click done. <laughs> You have to go and unlock the iPad. If you want to see how many people are using any of these categories at the top, click Safari. It'll show you all those using that category. You want to see how many are using Chrome. See who's using Chrome. Home screen. You can even see who's got a low battery on their iPad. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go back to all. You can click Navigate, and I don't really know what that does. Oh, you can choose somewhere for them to go to. Oh, look, I just learned something. So, if I want them to all go to the account of Raptors Baseball, I'll click that. And it should be take them all to the Raptors Baseball site. Is everybody's iPad getting screwed up? Yeah. Not a problem. I apologize. I'm just uh, doing some demonstration. And then click cancel. Did everybody get their iPad back? You should all have your iPad back. Does anybody still have the Raptors baseball site on their iPad? Just one? They're all slowly coming back, so it takes a few minutes. So that seems to be the extent of what you can do. Um, oh, you can also click open, and you can open an app on somebody. So if you want everybody to be in Chrome, you could click Chrome, and it will open Chrome on all the iPads, except for the ones on which it's not installed. I will cancel that before I upset this class further. This is not my class I'm doing the demonstration with. If you wanted to just choose the people who are on Safari and switch them to Chrome, you could then click open and try to switch them all to Chrome. It looks like they don't have Chrome installed, so that won't be your problem. So you've got open, navigate, lock, and mute. I'm not sure what mute does. Mute, oh, if they're listening to music and you don't want to hear the music, you can click mute and mute their iPads. So those are your options, is you can look at the screens of either the whole class, a particular person, or any of these groups. You can also lock a particular iPad. You can lock a group of iPads. You can lock a class of iPads. You can open an app on all the iPads, or a group of iPad, or an individual's iPad. Or you can navigate to a specific site uh, on a person's iPad. And you can also mute the sounds. If you have any more questions about iPads, please feel free to ask me and I will do my best to help you. Thank you very much for watching my wonderful video.